Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2019 Battle Series. We are here in the Moon Series kicking off again today with this Zygarde Sogaleo team. It's been a lot of fun over the last week and we're going to end up the week with it as we go up to Friday this week with the team. Hopefully have a really cohesive build, a polished article at the end of the week but we're going to have a few variations probably in between now and then and uh, like I said yesterday's episode we've got that Tyranitar that we want to probably feature at some point which will probably be tomorrow and just see if the Choice Scarf Tyranitar can do any work in this format but we're going to give Raikou another run out today. This is going to be a lot of fun. It did a lot of work in yesterday's episode so if you missed yesterday's episode and you'd like to check that out go back up here and I will link a card for you and you can check the game out from yesterday it was an incredible one so I would definitely recommend if you haven't seen it already go back check that out and then come back to this one and then enjoy today's episode hopefully but uh, we'll get straight into it I guess just need to crack some music on and uh, as always guys just a little reminder if you do enjoy this content make sure to leave a like on the video that little thumbs up down there and uh, make sure you do subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of these daily battle series as well as our guides our stream uploads flinch squad circuit and everything else in between and i'm going to start and do some sword and shield stuff as well so if you want to see the odd episode there and thereabouts around the new games that are coming out later this year then you'll not miss them if you hit that subscribe button so what more reason? I guess we need to get some music on though to kick us off today. And I'm really hoping that we can feature a little bit more of this Raikou. It was a lot of fun playing it yesterday. And um, in that second game, it did so much work. So hopefully, like I say, we can uh, we can see a little bit more of it today going into today's episode. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to find our first opponent of the episode. If it does, as always, I'll just cut back to it and uh, we'll jump in where our opponent pops up. And we've got our first opponent of the day, it's Aizan, and he is playing a team of, let's hop straight into Team Preview. Kyogre, Cartana, Incineroar, Tornadus, Xerneas, and Amoongus. So we've got that really kind of common Torn Ogre core that we see quite frequently in the Sun series and more so in the Moon series. We've got to be a bit careful and wary about the potential psych up on that Kyogre that we've already kind of come across. My opponent already locked in there, so knowing what they're going to do. The Toxicroak here is very tempting for us. I think, again, though, in this matchup, um, the Raikou does a real nice job for us. It can take that full power water spout from the Kyogre uh, and do a lot of damage with the Thunderbolt, especially to the Tornadus. It's got the Snarl support there as well so there's a few things that we need to tick off though the the Amoongus can cause us a lot of problems so Tapu Fini is kind of a, a, a standard here um, but whether or not we go with the Zygarde because it's going to be fitting everything in now I want Toxicroak here because it does such a good job against the Kyogre it's got access to moves that can hit the Cartana the Incineroar the Xerneas for super effective damage I also want the Sogaleo because it's such a good check to a lot of things on my opponent's side of the field as well. If we can deal with that, that Kyogre well enough. And it's then, who do we bring in our last slot? So I'm definitely going to lead off with Raikou. Um, maybe Incineroar because... Do we need the Intimidate here? I don't know if we do. Uh, we're going to have to be very quick though. I think I'm going to go Toxicroak, Tapu Fini and Sogaleo here. And I feel a little bit... Like, mm, I don't know. I want to bring in Cineral. I just worry about the Tornoga and uh, the Tornadus particularly being able to really damage the, the, the Toxicroak. And I think my opponent probably will chase that down pretty hard in this in this first game. I'm going to lead off with Raikou Toxicroak though. We have got the Fake Out to alleviate any big, big problems turn one. So we can, uh, we can take advantage of that. And we are going to see that infamous lead come out for my opponent. Being that Kyogre, it's going to get its Drizzle ability up. And um, I feel like I feel like it's not scarfed, which is quite interesting here because we could just nuke it with a thunderbolt and uh, fake out fake out the um, the tornadoes because I feel like the rain went up after our pressure there. Like I said in yesterday's episode, I've got to be paying a little more attention. I think I'm just going to do that. We'll probably see just a protect. Oh, we're just going to see a switch out there. Uh, Incineroar going to hit the field. So it's got that fake out support going into the next turn. You guarantee that it's going to try a new turn out this um, this next turn to get the Kyogre in with that Tailwind up. And we maybe should have doubled into the Tornado here. We're going to get a Thunderbolt off into the uh, Incineroar, which is always, always useful. Um, but one of the things we could potentially do, I think, mm, 
Like I do want to, I do want to go for the Thunderbolt into the Tornadus, but at the same time, it's probably good to preserve Raikou, not take any chip damage from the potential. Um, actually, no, I'm going to keep it in. I'm going to go for a Thunderbolt into the Tornado slot, and I'm going to take this opportunity to get Tapu Fini onto the field because Toxicroak is something that we can switch in for Raikou. My opponent's less likely to go for a Hurricane into that slot, even though this turn they're probably going to fake out the Raikou, prevent that Thunderbolt. But if they do that, then they can't U-turn out, and we don't get the uh, KO onto the Tornadus. Well, it does set the Tailwind up, and it can go... Oh, well, actually, not even going to see that. We're just going to see a Z-move come out from the Tornadus. It's going to try and chase down the Toxicroc, knowing how threatening it is going to be going into the, uh, the latter turns of this game. So... Here we go, Super Sonic Sky Strike coming out. Here we go, the genie is underway, launching himself into the sky. Going to be into Tapu Fini though, but Tapu Fini going to be able to take this pretty comfortably compared to most other things. Although I say that, it still takes a massive chunk of damage, doesn't it? Right, Raikou now, uh, we will be able to get the Thunderbolt off into this Tornadus. And I think, what else will we do? I mean, we could Heal Pulse, we could Icy Wind. Um, we're going to see probably uh, a Tailwind from the Tornadus in the, the Incineroar pivot out into, I'd say, Kyogre, more than likely. Um, so I think what we'll do is just switch into Toxicroak through Tapu Fini. Um, we'll outspeed Tornadus with Raikou here. So, I mean, if it does decide to go Hurricane, then we will outspeed it. We'll pick up the knockout before it can actually attack. So Toxicroak's not in too much danger right now I don't feel and even if it takes u-turn damage here it's gonna be able to um, just heal that off say the knockoffs the more threatening thing so there's the Raikou putting in so much work already getting rid of that tornado so it's normally the thing that really really obstructs you from being able to do very much we're gonna see a flare blitz come out from the Incineroar just going for that attack into the Raikou I want to get as much damage onto it as possible um, but Raikou taking that pretty comfortably here just about 50% health and um, the Kartana coming in now okay Kartana so Nozernius Nozernius which is interesting for my opponent um, I think what we'll do is set up a Reflect, and we will go for a Fake Out into the Katana here. Uh, Katana just going to protect. Uh, the Reflect's going to help us out to no end against um, especially both of these physical type attackers. So we do get this Reflect up with Raikou. Uh, because now Toxicroak is our, is our win con. Because, yeah, we're going to see... Oh! A knockoff into that slot, which is interesting. We need to be careful that we don't see a knockoff um, into Toxicroak because we don't want to lose our Assault Vest. That's the one thing we don't want to lose. I think we can probably double into the Incineroar here with a, a Thunderbolt and a Drain Punch. I'm not too worried about the Cartana with this Reflect up. This shouldn't proc the Berry. No, it doesn't, but the Drain Punch should be enough now to take down the Incineroar, and we should heal off any damage that we're taking from this Smart Strike, making things all okay. So yeah, the Incineroar going down, <sighs> pretty close here, but I mean, like I say, we're going to get all this health back. We'll get a little bit of dry skin healing as well, and Raikou running the show. I mean, the rain does stop, perfect timing though, because the Kyogre comes right back in, brings the rain with it. And we've got Sogaleo in the back as well, and the Tapu Fini. So I think our main goal here is obviously going to be trying to get this Cortana if we can. We've got the Drain Punch, which does a lot better job than the um, than the, the low kick that sometimes you see. So we'll go Drain Punch into Cortana. Go Thunderbolt into Kyogre. It should take it down to about 50% health. Um, we may see the Z-move on it. I don't know, though. I don't know. Probably protects here in the Cartana, just attacks the Raikou. No protects coming out, though. We're going to get this Thunderbolt into the Kyogre. Take it down, like I said, just below 50% health. We're going to see another Smart Strike into this Toxicroak. Um, take us down to about 50% health. Origin Pulse coming out. It does hit uh, both targets, I think, are proccing the, the Dry Skin ability on our Toxicroak, which is fine. Raikou going to take uh, its leave, but it's done so much work in this match, so we cannot come back, have a rest, Raikou. Get this Drain Punch into the Kartana now and uh, get all that tasty health back. But it should put us back up to, to full health. And I mean, we can see already how much the, the Reflect is helping us out because otherwise that 
those small strikes would be doing a lot of damage and probably we wouldn't be able to go toe to toe with this Cortana like we are doing right now. And uh, I tell you what, we'll bring the Sogaleo in because why not? Let's start start the showboating. We might be able to get the Z move off. I'm pretty sure we will be able to, to be honest. Um, I don't know if we'll outspeed the Kyogre. Um, but we'll not go for the Z move just yet. We'll go for the, the super power and I think we'll just try and close it up with a poison jab into the Kyogre slot. Cartana gonna smart strike the Toxic Rock once again. Gonna do decent damage, but just not quite enough. The origin pulse coming out. I mean we could have wide guarded there, just healing this Toxic Croak up the whole time. It's just why Toxic Croak's so good against this dominant Pokemon in this format. Origin Pulse, we are able to take, get the Super Power off into the Cartana and um, the Poison Jab should be enough. And if not, we've got Sucker Punch going into this next turn. So we take the Cartana down there. And uh, we've always got Tapu Fini in the back. But I mean, we don't worry when we've got Toxic Croak out, do we? Poison Jab, enough to get the, the Kyogre. And I don't know who to give it to, Raikou or Toxic Croak. Both put in so much work today. And uh, very good game to my opponent. And uh, another nice victory for us to kick off with. So uh, hopefully it doesn't take too long. We'll get straight into our next one. And. Um, keep this momentum going but I'm really enjoying the Raikou and um, it is a really nice addition to the team it's such a good suggestion and uh, I know that Aaron suggested discharge with it but when he mentioned it to me I thought I kept thinking about it I think speed tier is so good that base 115 he suggested discharge and I'm like discharge could really work it conflicts with a few other members of the team um, it, you don't benefit as much with the misty terrain either so thunderbolts all right but it does get access to snarl which is really good helps us against lunala in particular and xerneas and it can hit eveltal for super effective damage the reflect really alleviates the ground on matchup quite a lot um then we got intimidate to bolster that even more so all in all it does make a lot of sense you know it does learn magnet rise as well which is another tech but then you're going to have to have something there that can deal with Groudon, hit Groudon super effectively, so you're dropping something like Snarl, so it doesn't really make too much sense, so the Reflect really, really kind of making a lot of sense in this build, so, um, and our rating at the minute, 1683, we are creeping towards that 1700 mark, it would be amazing if we could get there before the end of the week, or by the end of the week, um, but like I said in yesterday's episode, what we're probably going to do is bring that T-Tar into tomorrow's episode, give Raikou a little break, and try the T-Tar out, and we'll come back on Thursday with more Raikou action. And if there's anything else you would like to see maybe tried in this team before the end of the week, do let me know. I love hearing your thoughts, your comments, suggestions, and things like that. Uh, we are just searching for our next opponent. If it does take a little bit too long, we'll, uh, we'll cut, as I say, once again, and come straight back to it. And we've got our next opponent of the episode. It is going to be Jerry. I couldn't click the music in quick enough, so we'll just get straight into Team Pre. And Jerry is playing a team of Tornadus, Palkia, Kyogre, Incineroar, Serena, and Scissor. So we've got the Tornadus, Kyogre, once again, the Palkia being the restricted combination here, which makes it a little bit easier. I feel a little bit better not going up against the Xerneas, but at the same time, you've got to worry about that Palkia and how strong it can be in the rain. Um, it does and has got access to Earth Power that could threaten the Toxic Rock quite heavily. You've got the Serena here that can prevent any sort of fake out support as well. So we've got to be a little bit careful around that. I think though, what worked so well in game one, we'll go with Raikou Toxic Rock here. Um, do I want Zygarde in this match though? Because I don't feel that the Sogaleo is so relevant here. Um, Tapu Fini is really good. The scissors going to be a bit awkward to deal with, especially without Incineroar. Um, but Zygarde can kind of do a pretty decent job against it. Uh, we've got to get this Reflect up, though. We're going to be relying on it quite heavily here. Um, Incineroar is not bad, but then three water types, three strong water types kind of put me off bringing it, whereas Toxicroak can perform a similar role um, and not do as bad. So let's lock in with these. And get into the game. Good luck, Jerry. And hopefully it's a good one. And uh, hopefully, like I say, we can keep the momentum going. I think I searched for opponents about five times there with no results. Every time, just no opponent could be found. So, there's not too many people on the battle spot this evening. But hopefully, we don't have any issues going forward. We're going to lead off with our lovely combination of Raikou, Toxic Rock. And we're going to see my opponent lead off with that Kyogre and Tornadus. We're going to see the Drizzle ability activate before our pressure here. Indicating that that is Scarfed Kyogre. Um, 
And again, we've got to be a little bit careful around this Tornadus. Um, it can potentially do a lot of damage to us, so we have to be very, very careful around it. Um, I do want to Thunderbolt it. If it goes for that Hurricane, then we can get it before it does do that. Do I just double it? Do I just double it? Because we can take um, a Water Spout with a, a Raikou. I am. I'm going to fake out. Problem is, uh, if Serena comes in here... Oh, it's Incineroar. Okay. It's Incineroar. We might see the Tornado just protect here. But if it's got something like Rain Dance, which they commonly do in a best of one situation, then it might not have Protect. No Protect. Fake out. And better bing, better boom. Raikou doing it again. The Tornado Slayer. Critical hit. Didn't really matter. I don't think. I think we take it down quite comfortably without that. Unless it was a really bulky one. And then, yeah. And then we get we get a little bit lucky. But I don't think we did. I'm just I'm just trying to to think of worst case scenario for my opponent. So the Incineroar is in now, it's got access to that fake out. Uh, Kyogre potentially comes back onto the field, but it's not, it's the it's the Palkia. Now uh, we do need to be a little bit careful around um the Palkia, of course. Um it does have those the potential to Z move. I am gonna protect Raikou here, and I think I want to Yeah, get Get Toxicroc out for the time being. Get Tapu Fini onto the field. We can start Icy Winding, which would be really helpful for us going forward in the match. We've got Nature's Madness to kind of chunk down that Incineroar if we need to. At least we know as well now the four Pokemon my opponent's brought. The Scissor isn't something that we need to, to really worry about too much. We're going to get the Tapu Fini and get this Misty Terrain up onto the field now. And uh, we'll just protect, like I say, the Raikou. Don't want to take any Waterium Z or any Fake Out double up damage here we're just going to see the water mz pull the trigger straight away from my opponent jerry going for this into our raikou more than likely it's not going to be into that toxic rock slot but behind the protect we should take this pretty comfortably we've also got the snarl we can take advantage of going into the next turn um, and as long as we've got the toxic rock going into the, the late stages of this game we've got no issues going up against this kyogre we take that pretty comfortably anyway behind the protect even in the rain and there's the u-turn and uh, we're going to see Kyogre take the field now. Yep. Coming in. Incoming. But again, I don't mind this too much because Finny is not in any danger at all. Palkias tend to run um, Spatial Rend, Hydro Pump. You normally see Trick Room there, but I don't know if you, it's kind of the thing that you would see on this build because, um, yeah, I mean, I think what we'll do is switch in Toxicroc for sure. And we've got Nature's Madness into that Kyogre. I want to preserve Raikou for later on when this Kyogre is a little bit more damaged. It's not going to be able to threaten us so heavily with potential uh, water spouts like we're seeing now. So there's a Toxicroc coming in. Going to be able to sap that up pretty nicely. Um, and we'll be able to reduce the damage of this water spout with this Nature's Madness. And stuff. So Thunder coming out though. Not going to be the thing we really want to be seeing on our Tapu Fini because it should... Oh, we actually survive. Finny is just the best Pokemon ever. I can't wait till we have the IC and we can have shiny Tapu Finny. That is going to be the best thing <laughs> ever. Honestly, I cannot wait for it. So we get the Nature's Madness into this Kyogre. Do some nice damage there. Uh, we've got access to the Fake Out now. So we can go for that into the Palkia, I think. It's probably not a bad idea and just go for an Icy Wind. Um... How do we go for a Nature's Madness into the Palkia? We could just double into that. The Kyogre's not posing any threat right now. Yeah, we're going to see it switch out. We're going to see the Incineroar come back in. So it's got that fake out support going into the next turn. Um, and we'll just prevent this Palkia from actually going for a Thunder here. Which is going to be super useful for us. Um, Palkia just protecting now. So, hmm. I mean, it's not the end of the world, is it? We have to be a bit careful around this knockoff, though, from the opposing Incineroar. Um, for sure, that's something that we need to be we need to keep in mind. I'll go for a drain punch into the incineral, and I'm gonna just go for an icy wind. We could see a fake out. I could see a knockoff from the incineral into the toxic rock. Stop it moving this turn. I think the toxic rock's the one thing that we need to make sure that we are preserving going into the latter stages of this game. If we do come down against. Toxicroak versus that Kyogre, we know we've got the match locked, so that's the win condition that we're aiming for here. Um, but we, it's going to take us a, maybe a few turns just to get into this position. So we'll see what 
what Jerry's going to do here. He's got access to that Thunder. We know it's not going to take the Tapu Fini down this turn, so we may get a free Drain Punch off into this Incineroar, which would be really useful. We're not going to see any fake out though we're just going to see a thunder come out uh tapu fini should hang on just barely as well and get that icy all important icy wind off which is really important especially against that palkia base 100 pokemon um, and we will be able to get this drain punch into the incinero i wonder where it's going to go it's probably more than likely going to knock off our toxicroc here i would imagine that's what i can imagine it doing getting rid of the assault vest no nope, just going for the u-turn might not have access to that and we'll see the the Kyogre come back onto the field now for my opponent. But we will be able to at least outspeed the park here this next turn with Toxicroc. Um, the Finny's going to go down, but we don't mind that too much. Uh, the Rain does stop as well, which is not ideal because these Thunders will not be hitting for very good damage at all this next turn. I think what we'll do is double into the park here. Uh, we'll go Nature's Madness and, and Drain Punch into that slot. Don't really mind the Kyogre now, it's out of rain. If it wants the rain back, it's got to switch out, get this Incineroar back in, which it may do. We may see the Palkia just protect once again uh, to have that fake out support going into the next turn. Um, and it's cycling all the time, these Intimidates onto our Incineroar. We could have maybe predicted that and adjusted our board position just to alleviate the um, the double Intimidate onto our Toxic Rogue. But we are actually going to be able to get a Nature's Madness into the... Uh, park here before the finny is taken down which is fine and this just paves the way hopefully our misty terrain stays active for one more turn i'm really hoping because if not zygarde can come in but it can't have the boost which is a little bit a little bit awkward but it's it's not the end of the world and the mist disappears <laughs> it's always the way isn't it we'll get raikou in though We will just protect this turn to get around the fake out. I mean, we could snarl as well. That's also something else we could do. Um, I think I want to reset the Intimidate drop zone, Toxicroc. Wait there, I need to make sure that I'm on the right Pokemon here. Yeah, Toxicroc. I was worrying for a minute. We're going to switch in Raikou and leave Toxicroc out on the field. That couldn't go any worse. Um, we'll just snarl because I could see the Incineroar maybe hard switching out and not fake outing here. We're not really worrying too much about what this park is doing. And if the Incineroar stays on the field for this next turn, it means that Zygarde's going to get a thousand arrows off before this Kyogre can come back in. So that's not the end of the world. I'm going to see a spatial rend from this park here. It's going to be into our Zygarde though. Not the target we wanted to be going into, but um, I mean we do survive it. So we are going to activate this power construct ability. We've got the thousand arrows, and maybe we get the Palkia this next turn um, with the Thunderbolt with the Raikou. Maybe Raikou can do all the stuff that we needed to do here. Um, we'll get the thousand arrows off. It should be enough to get the Incineroar, um, and I'm going to just go for that Thunderbolt into Palkia. Hopefully, it should be enough to take it down. I'm hoping it is. Um, the Palkia seems more more offensive than, than bulky, so... Hoping because of that. Palkia just protecting. I'm guessing the Incineroar is going to try and uh, pick up the knockout onto this this Raikou. It's still going to be really difficult for my opponent though, even if the Raikou does go down here. We should get the Incineroar though. I'm feeling pretty confident that we get the Incineroar here. Oh, we just miss it. We just miss it. Is it going to proc a berry? It is. Ah, oh, that's disastrous. That's not what we wanted to see. Um, hmm. Now the Raikou probably goes down to Flare Blitz. We could have, we could have definitely Ah, that's a shame. We could have definitely reflected there. Um, the Incineroar definitely goes down to another thousand hours this next turn. We bring Toxicroc in now, which is fine, because we can just fake out thousand hours, and there's no worries about doing that at all. Because I mean, my opponent cannot double protect the Palkia. They can bring in the Kyogre, but they're going to take thousand hours damage. Um, get the park here in at the end, but I mean it's still not going to be able to deal with the Toxicroak very well And it's pretty close to extreme speed range, especially when we haven't been intimidated as well by the opposing Incineroar So let's see how my opponent adjusts here I feel like a fake out a thousand hours kind of clears the field and then the Kyogre comes in That's exactly what the end position that we were wanting earlier when we were saying, you know Yeah 
Kyogre versus Toxicroc. We're going to see the Kyogre actually come in now. It's going to summon the rain once again, which means it's going to be the Palkia versus these two. These two Pokemon, and we've got two priority attacks in Extreme Speeder and Sucker Punch. The Thousand Hours hopefully is enough to get the Kyogre here, and it definitely should get the Instant Aura. It's not quite enough to get the Kyogre, but I mean, that's still, that's still fine, isn't it? Still fine, because we've got Extreme Speed for the Kyogre the next turn. Cannot do anything. Um, and we could just double the Palkia here, to be honest. Although we know, we definitely know, 100% that this Kyogre cannot protect. And we could just suck a bunch of the Palkia. In case it protects. In case it does, maybe. But we know we can get the Kyogre, so it's fine. Zygarde picking up a knockout is always a good thing as well. Nice none that we can take a spatial round from a Palkia as well without the, the Misty Seed boost. So imagine if we had that in our arsenal as well. So there's a the Sucker Punch. Is it enough? It's not quite enough. We're going to see another spatial round. It's time into the Zygarde. Going to take the Zygarde down. And it's the lowly Toxicroc stealing the show for us once again against these Rain Cores. And just showing how good it is against these sort of teams. Right. We'll just go Sucker Punch once again. I mean, the Palkia probably protects trying to stall out these Sucker Punches. But I mean, maybe not as well. And the match was forfeit. So very good game to Jerry. And uh, what a great game for us to end on today. So uh, the Raikou is pulling its weight even more again. And, you know, that's two Tornadus' uh, Kyogre teams that we've come up against. And Raikou's put in so much work. And we can't forget about Toxicroak as well. We have to give Toxicroak some big props because it's done so well in those matches. But the Raikou allows the Toxicroak to come in those matches because it's checking the Tornadus that would normally make the Toxicroak so difficult to bring. So so, uh, yeah, it's working out really nice. But what we're going to do, guys, like I mentioned in yesterday's episode and the start of this episode, tomorrow we're going to change things up a bit just to have a little bit of fun midweek and bring that Tyranitar that I mentioned at the start of the week. So going into tomorrow's episode, we're going to just bench Raikou for one day. We'll come back to it on Thursday for sure, but we will bring the Tyranitar tomorrow and see what it can do. And hopefully bump into some Lunala and Xerneas and Eveltal teams because they're the ones that we want to play with the the Tyranitar in particular. So we will end it up there, guys. I will just say thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, if you want and you would like to leave any comments down below about the team, about the games today, definitely do that and I'll look forward to reading it very soon. I'll just say thanks again. Have a great evening, morning, afternoon, whatever time it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you all for the next one. So until then, take care and bye bye.